morning everyone good morning my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel if you like my videos please smash that like button please do subscribe it's friday morning near at the weekend again doesn't time go fast it really does it does as you get older it goes like a flash so good morning everyone um can't deny the fact that I feel a bit awful this morning. My eyes are puffy. Still very hot in this flat. It's hot. The temperature, the temperature in my flat, the temperature in my flat is 24 degrees, but it's windy and rainy outside. It's really hot in this flat. Boiling. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1991, the general public were invited to access the World Wide Web for the first time. It was the start of a technology that led to me having this conversation with you today. Yay. Alexa, what's the time, please? Good morning, Crystal. The time is 8.10 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Friday the 23rd of August. Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 17 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 24 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What kind of music do sophisticated kangaroos listen to? Opera. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include American basketball player Seth Curry, 49th Governor of Michigan Gretchen Whitmer, Carrie Lake, American corporate mascot Jared Fogel, and political advisor for policy Stephen Miller. Right, again, good morning everybody. So the, the, the weather is cloudy with rain, but it's warm. It's, it's not cool or cold um so friday i've not got much planned today at some point i've got to take one library book back because someone's reserved it so there you go um it's just surviving isn't it i think it is that case for everybody surviving making sure you've got enough gas and electric, making sure you've got enough to eat, and just surviving. I have not been on holiday for 12 years. Um, the last holiday I went on was with my father. My father has died since then. He's passed on. I may rest in peace. Um, I don't wish badness on anyone. No, I don't. I get upset. I say things like we all do, but I don't wish badness on anybody. No. I, all I want to do is be happy and be left alone to live my life. And that's it. As for possessions, they're, they're lovely while, while you're alive and you've got them, but you can't take them with you when you go. So no matter how many possessions you have, have, no matter how many things you own, cars, houses, properties, you, you know, they're gone and passed on to someone else when you go. So the best thing that people can do is get on with their lives, enjoy them as much as they can, and, and there's no need for fighting or being spiteful. Or being jealous, there's no need for it. We're all the same. However much posh people, people with loads of money, think they're better than, different than, than the common person, they aren't. We all go to the same place. We all use the toilet, you know. So when, when, when somebody sticks their nose up at me, you know, they go to the toilet like I do. Um, 
what, they're no different from me. So if somebody wants to be stuck up towards me, that's their problem, not mine. We're cut from the same cloth, so to speak. Do you know what I mean? We, nobody knows how human beings came about. We've got theories. But, but we might, must have all come from the same place. <laughs> no one's better than anybody else. They might think they are, but they're not. So, last night, I took Max for a walk. Um, somebody is trying to make me feel terrible and awful, like life isn't worth living. And believe you me, it bloody well is. It is. But when someone suffers from a mental illness such as depression, bipolar, you know, some... Mine was brought on by a very, very traumatic childhood. Very traumatic. And there's things that I've locked away inside my mind that, you know, that happened to me as a child that probably hasn't even been opened yet. I can't remember from the, from the ages of like when I was born to when I was about, you know, 10. I can't remember what my dad has actually done to me, not everything. And sometimes you will have a bad nightmare, you'll have a flashback, uh, and you will feel like you're in an emergency situation, a panic attack, the shakes. Um, I am recovering every day of my life, especially after my dad passed on. Because whilst my dad was alive, he was still controlling me, telling me what to do, still belittling me and putting me down. And he's not here to do that, but it seems that other people have taken over the role from what he was doing to me. And I don't like it, because A, I'm an adult, and B, it's harmful. Uh. Belittling someone, humiliating them, making them feel awful about themselves makes a bully feel good. Of course it does. They've got control over somebody or they think they have. And this is what's been going on upstairs. This is why I need to move. I want to move and I've got to get out of this place and hopefully I will. keep harping over it but this is how control starts bullying keeping someone so they know where you are what you're doing you know controlling them so i've been controlled by noise noise so for four four years on and off it's got a lot better than it was i was controlled by this terrible noise I couldn't do anything, it was so bad. I just sat and froze, I couldn't wash up, I couldn't do anything. Someone said to me, right, go and do some tidying up, go, distract yourself from it. It was all over my ceiling in my flat, it was in every single room. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't I wasn't eating, I was losing weight, it was making me miserable, I'd go outside and, and, and just, you, you know, it continued outside the flats as well, so there was nowhere for me to go and I was getting miserable, I was getting on the verge of calling the Samaritans, right, so 
that got under control and the noise gradually got a lot better now my flat is cleaner I can wash up I can clean and I can sit down at times and relax and watch a TV I couldn't even watch a television program there was screaming there was thumping it sounded like his flat upstairs was being ripped apart And you don't interfere. You, you, you also worry about what's going on up there. It wasn't just selfishness. I was wondering at one point whether his children were hurting him. It was that, that, that bad. Because autistic children, autistic children hit and can hit and scratch their parents so i just wondered if the poor guy needed support you know what i mean i wasn't being nasty so basically it's now got to the point where this guy is got a looks to me like a full-time job and he's out most of the day so i can at least re relax during the day I don't know what's happening to this guy, but it, you know what I mean? Um, so now this guy is getting up really early in the morning and he must have gone to bed quite late. And so I have to get up for about uh, five. He, he couldn't have had much sleep last night, I, I tell you. I don't know what's going on. So I took my dog out for a walk, 10 to 7. He wasn't in. He wasn't in. His car wasn't about. Wasn't in. Uh, and it was a bit of a depressing walk because it's got dark earlier now and it was wet and damp and and not many people were about. To be fair, there was a bloke behind me, a bloke in front of me, and since I'd been um, talking to this Sean character on FaceTime who I felt was taking the piss out of me, and I'm not a geezer, I'm a woman, right? And he knew full well I was, and he knows why. Um, he kept trying, to, I believe this Sean kept trying to, to frighten me into moving either up to Wales or to Gloucestershire, like he said trying to scare me and make me feel horrible uh, you know try, trying to make me move this is all this is trying to make me move out of my flat now why does does somebody want this flat because I, I was told the police I said it's as if the neighbours want me to move out of my flat why I mean before this to do started with next door they themselves said they hardly heard me they hardly heard my dog they hardly heard me so what is all this what is it i sit in my flat mind my own business no i don't like the balconies being close together if you're mates with the next door neighbor going out onto your balcony and having a chat with them is wonderful it's great isn't it But if, if you're like me, and I like to keep myself to myself and not tell the whole street my business, right? I, I like to keep myself to myself. So when I go out on the balcony, right, I, want, I just want to go on the balcony. And then this dog started barking. And I'd have a chit chat with Kim and she said, what are you doing today, Crystal? Are you going to sit on the balcony in your bikini? And I don't think she meant it, because I'm not a type of person that wears a bikini. I mean, obviously, if I wore a bikini, you would see that I'm a woman. You'd see that I'm a female if I wore a bikini. Right? You'd see that. So, the day that 
that Kim said to me, Crystal, why don't you go on the balcony and wear a bikini? That's when this dog barking really took off to the maximum. That's when it started really bad. And surely what you're saying to someone in a shop is private. Um, or if I'm doing a YouTube video, that's to my viewers. And sh surely, surely not the next door neighbours going down my YouTube videos. Surely not. <laughs> so when I came back from walking the dog, I was feeling awful because I come home every night. I'm stuck in this flat by myself. It's got getting dark earlier and anyone that suffers from depression knows that when the dark nights start to draw in, depression can get worse. It can get a lot worse because it's darker and you can't see anybody, right? Can you? Because it's dark. So it, it, depression gets uh, can get a lot worse. And so does the bullying. The bullying gets worse. So I came back into my flat and I told you, I, w I was flicking through Netflix, flicking through Netflix and there was an almighty fucking scrape across the ceiling and I'd had that phone call from uh, Underdown, Underdown. And phone calls hurt my face and they set my bad tooth off. So when he scraped that tap that I don't know, it was a sofa or a table right across the floor, it nearly killed me. I was in agony. But I didn't shout, I didn't do anything, I let him carry on and eventually, eventually he gave up. And I'd been getting messages off a flute finder while this scraping was going on on the ceiling. I was getting messages again. I told you. I like your boobs. And this is what that Sean, that Sean kept saying to me. Right? Me. And I am a woman. And I always have been. And when I fill in police forms or housing forms, they ask you, what is your colour? White. White British. What is your gender? Female. Have you always been female since birth? Yes. Yes. And how many more times do you have to keep saying it? How many more times do I have to keep saying it and shouting it? I am a female. A woman. And anyone that's got a birth certificate, like when, when I was born, right, it says girl on my birth certificate. Girl, baby girl. <laughs> so where the confusion and the mix-up has started, I have no idea. I think someone's done it on purpose. I do think someone's stolen my ID. And it's identity theft, possibly fraud. And obviously I thought my dad was mixed up in it, but my father's passed away. So who the hell is doing it now? So what this individual individuals are trying to do is shut me up, shut me down, keep me indoors because they've done something bad. Like they've committed fraud, fraud or ID theft. And they think by shutting me up and keeping me locked indoors that it's all they're gonna get away with it. That's the only thing I can think that's gone on. Because I told you that I had a passport that was either stolen or lost. 
up in Gloucestershire with my original birth name on it, Genestra, and maybe someone has been